So my name is Rafael. I am from Brazil. Uh, my parents are from Argentina. Um, yes, I arrived in Australia. I came for the first time to Australia 11 years ago. I guess from that direction here. I don't know, 15,000 k's in this direction, I guess. <laughs> South America. Yes, I, since my, I was a teenager, I, I became aware and interested and wanted to learn more about my country, about the history spoken and told by the, by the peoples you know, who really make the story or the history. And I guess I was very privileged to have the opportunity to, to meet very special people. For me, great masters, many times without shoe to wear, but with a deep, deep connection to country. And yes, after five years traveling through South America to these communities, different communities in the Amazon or in the highlands, I, or the outbacks of Brazil, I heard some stories and I think I found my, my track in this in this journey, no? so suddenly life started to invite me to start again uh, in Australia 11 years ago. And well, in the last 11 years in Australia, I, I tried to, to maintain my connection to my country, but also I tried to learn about this country and the the peoples from this country and the first connections to this country, the most powerful ones in my opinion. And that's why I end up in Broome two years ago. I was lucky enough to come with a group of very special musicians, indigenous musicians from South America. And we met a wonderful mob here great musicians, great people actually, above everything, that make me feel at home, make me feel in family. And since then, since 2015, I had a chance to come back again a few months ago in August, where we could, you know, showcase uh, community-based documentaries from Mexico and from the Kimberleys. Maybe the most impressive moment for me, the, my in my memory, I, I have this, these conversations around the fire after the screening, listening, you know, listening the, the story from here, listening about their struggles in protecting this country. And I found like it was, and I find, I think, it's, 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 it's dramatically uh, similar to what has happened in South America and the struggles over there as well. So this time I had the opportunity to come back here to keep listening, keep learning about their values and their understanding of the land, understanding what or at least exploring, learning about their connection to this country. I hope this to be a journey where we could identify ourselves as sisters and brothers all around the world with a similar understanding that the land does not belong to us, but we belong to the land, to the country. My dream is, I hope, to to witness these connections in between uh, those peoples and these peoples and 
and their connection to land. And if we could somehow share this with others, that would be a wonderful thing to do.